Hello and welcome to this tutorial on Cubase 10.5. Today I'm going to show you a few things about the frequency plugin uh, and also uh, there'll be a couple of other things along the way. So first I want to build some loops here, some audio tracks for you to listen to. So I'll go in the file browser and uh, just look in this country folder. Been in this one many times and then uh, find some different parts so that sounds good so next I'll control click these this kind of works just like the Windows File Explorer if you shift click you get them all if you control click you can click them out of order and then uh, just drag these in here and it's going to ask one track or different tracks Let's put it on different tracks and then click OK and it gives uh, all those tracks with the names on them so I'm just going to make these a little taller here hold down the control key and uh, hopefully this is showing on the screen all the keystrokes so I'll play this and that's working okay so maybe your range isn't uh, set to the clip so you can do a control a for select all and then press P on the keyboard and then uh, forward slash for turning the loop on and I want to have all these in musical mode so that uh, the tempo of these, I don't know what these clips are set to. You can see it's a little bit off over here. If we zoom in, pressing the middle of the mouse button to uh, move this around. You can see it's off a little bit. So uh, we'll just control and roll the mouse wheel and uh, to get it back a little bit. And then uh, click uh, musical mode and then uh, press shift F on the keyboard. And you can see over here that now it's lined right up. So I'll undo that so that you can hear what's going on when that happens. So I'll press musical mode. And it's slowing it down. It's matching the tempo of the song here. So I'll change this to 140, possibly get it back to where it was. And then. Uh, Everything's still selected, so you can press P on the keyboard and then Shift F, get it back. Now you notice the drum loop isn't uh, long enough, so you click on that and then hold down Control key and D for duplicate, and then you you know you have everything where you want it. So this is great if you're building a loop track and you want to sing along to it or play your guitar, or keyboard, whatever you have. So the next thing I want to do is uh, get the a frequency plug-in and I'm just going to change the color of this track. You can do that by holding your mouse over the color here and control and roll the hold the control key down and roll the mouse wheel um, and get it to where you want it. So uh, what I got open here is instead of bouncing around so much yours might not be open but just click the side panel here and then go to inserts and uh, click the drop down and you can start typing in frequency and find it and press enter and it'll load it in frequencies of course underneath the EQ section so with the plugin open here uh, I want to take a look at a few things uh, change this to always on top because it's pretty annoying when you're working on something you click somewhere else and the plugin disappears and then you have to come back over here and get it back um, so I'm just going to play this and let's take a listen. Alright, so it's a little heavy right there. So what you can do is click on one of these and change the um, the way it interacts with the, with the clip uh, by changing the drop down low shelf and then... Now the other great thing is if you can solo these different frequencies, click this icon here for the speaker, and when you click on one of these, it's just going to isolate that. So let's go ahead and solo this so you can hear a little bit better. Then you can come in here, find what you want, and hold the control key, bring it down so that it's right on the mark, and you can notch it out by holding the shift key down and get it like that. The other thing is if you click on uh, like the gain here it will do the same thing so you can hear what's going on. 
Now another great feature is um, you can change it to graph mode. Click here and bar graph. So now you can actually find the uh, frequencies that are causing problems. And clean things up a little bit that way. Uh, another great feature about this plugin is that it's automated. So if you turn on uh, right, and um, I'm just going to undo or take the looping off so it doesn't keep doing it. If you wanted to, like, maybe cut this right here, so you press the shift, or I'm sorry, sorry, space bar. Let's say that you have a solo or something going on and you want to notch that out, give an instrument a little bit more room, uh, you can do that. Let's see, it's moving by itself. And the other thing that you can do is after you've made that is you can go in here and you can change those and add other parts and fix different things. So it, it's got a lot of a lot of potential uh, to hone in your your sounds and mix and everything. Um, it's all automated too. Once you click on that right, uh, anything that you do in here is going to be recorded. So that's just kind of scratching the surface of it. Uh, there's a section in here if you want to load a preset to get you in the ballpark um, and that works uh, most of the time is just go in and do those things turn on your bar graph see what's going on and you can find different things in there um, the other thing is now that I made all this you can right click and select all events and delete them if you didn't quite get what you wanted or you know it's getting too many uh, it's getting confusing in there and also this button right here you can't see it but the collapse it you just move over here and you can collapse your track and the faders in there and you have everything you need you can also press F3 on the keyboard to get your uh, mixer and that uh, concludes the tutorial on this and I hope it uh, helps you get started with the frequency plugin. It's a great plugin and um, is very useful in uh, dialing in your sound. So I hope to see you in the next tutorial and take care now and Happy New Year's 2020. Bye.